In this video, we will create the header of each post Instagram because each post have the header, the content, the footer, and the section for the comment section. So we will start with the header. First of all, last video, we said that we will come back right here. So let's do this. First, we will need to create a column. And in this column, we will have children, and once again, we will not add multiple widget one after the other, but we will use the list dot generate. So this will generate multiple item and we create this list because we will have multiple posts. Okay. Let's say we have eight posts. I will format document and then we will return for, for every post. We will return another column like this, because in this one, we will have children. And in this column, we will have, by example, the header, the, the information, so the picture, the footer, and the section for the comment. Okay, I will format document once again. I will put my comma right here, format document. And now we can add and start for the header, header post. Let's do this. So first of all, we will need to create a row because the post is pretty much a row in Instagram. So uh, we'll add a row and we will say children. So when I say the post, I mean uh, the header of the post. So the children, first of all, will have a container. So this container right now, what we are creating is the, the, um, the user image. So the user profile picture. So we will say a container and we have already created a, a image picture like this. So maybe we can, we could just copy and paste. Let's say what, let's see what we have. We have a container with the column and a circle avatar. We want the circle avatar. So we will just copy this part. We'll say control C and then we will go down inside our container. And inside this one, we will add first the padding argument with the edge and sets uh, dot all with a value of 10. I will put my comma and format document. And then after the padding, we will add as well the child argument. And it is in this one that we will put what we have copied. I will erase the comma format document. So as you can see, we have all image like this as well. And uh, I just remember that, um, on this image, we should have as well the little uh, purple circle. So we will go copy uh, both of them instead. So I will copy both of them and I will replace the one that we have put by the two of them. Here we go. That is even better. After the radius will be quite different, quite different. It will be 12 for this one and 14 for this one. So as you can see, we have a little image. It is just to show which user have published this picture. Okay. Then after that, what we can do is add the profile name right after. So we have our row, we have our container. And after this one, we will have the text saying, by example, the profile name, just like that. That's good. After we can add uh, right here, we could add the icon button icon button. So I use this one and the icon will be the icon widget like this. And inside it is an icon data. And to show the icon data, we use the icons dot and we could use the more vertical, so this one. So I will press uh, the null. I will remove this to, for an empty function and I will format document. Good. I will put the comma here as well and format document once again. So right now we have the, the more option, but we will need to put the more option at the end of the row. So we will add something between the profile name and the uh, more vertical button. And I'm sure you know what we will put. It will be a spacer. Let's use that. So the spacer between both of them. And now, as you can see, here we go. We have our header of our post right now. We have, we are going somewhere. So this is very nice. After that, what we will do is we could 
uh, add on the next video the image of each post. So see you on the next video. Bye.